The family of a local high school student shot and killed on his way home from school has a message for his killer. Turn yourself in. Thanks for joining us here tonight live at 5. I'm Molly Grantham. And I'm Jamie Bull. Glad you're here. Police say someone sprayed bullets at two teens yesterday along Audrey Street near Eastway Drive. This is East Charlotte, just minutes away from Garinger High School. 17-year-old Daquan Dees died. He's on the left side of your screen here. His 15-year-old friend, DeAndre Wilson Jr., recovering in the hospital tonight. Both students at Garinger. WBTV's Claire Kopsky spoke one on one with the grandmother of the teen killed. She joins us now live at five. So Claire, what is she telling you? Well, Molly and Jamie, there are not many words that you can share when something like this happens, and yet it's happened again. Our community grappling with the loss of yet another teenager to gun violence, this time on the way home from school. I'm standing in front of Garinger High School. This is just a few blocks from where Daquan Dees lives. He was shot and killed just two blocks from his home. And although he's only 17, this was his first year at Geringer High School. His grandmother told me today that he loved video games, playing basketball and playing with his two younger brothers. This evening, his family is struggling for the words. Because I'm still waiting on him to call me to let me know he all right. Every day, Carla Jones gets a call from her grandson. He normally called me and let me know he got to the house and he got, got his brothers and he about to feed them. But on Tuesday, the call from 17-year-old Daquan Deese never came. I just hopped in the car and, and I came over here. When she arrived, her heart dropped. There was police tape blocking his street. I'm just... I'm dumbfounded for words. Charlotte Mecklenburg police confirmed through photos that she showed them of her grandson that he was the teenager who was killed. He was my ride or die. I, I practically raised that baby. It's still not sinking in that it was my grandson that lost his life yesterday. 15 year old Deontay Wilson Jr. who was also shot but expected to be OK was Deese's friend. He didn't go nowhere. If he wasn't with his friend that got shot, he was here at the house. Deese is the second Garinger High School student to die of gun violence since December. The CEO of True Blue, an organization that advocates for the end of gun violence, spoke bluntly about what's been going on. We do have a gang issue here that everybody seems to just sweep up on the road, but that's just real. CMS really, really needs help, you know, and they're bringing in different organizations to help with different things can actually we think can calm down some of this violence. While CMPD continues to look for the shooter, Jones has a message for her grandson's killer. Senseless killing for what? Put down the guns and turn yourself in. Charlotte Mecklenburg Schools tells me that Geringer High School had increased help and support for students today. In a message to families last night, the principal said in part, counselors will be highly visible throughout the building and available to assist with grief counseling all day today. Now, I spoke with Deontay's grandmother as well today. He is the 15 year old who was shot. She told me that he is out of the ICU this afternoon. He had some additional x-rays. He has a shattered pelvis. He's also going to have to have parts of both of his intestines removed. Needless to say, he has a long road to recovery. Molly and Jamie, back to you. Claire, thank you. And sadly, this is not 